Get ready to imagine it. What better place to do so than the Extreme Science Theater at the Imagination Station. The Chief Scientist Carl Nelson is here. Good morning to you once again. Good morning. What do you have lined up here? Well, you know, every day we do a combustion demonstration. And every day? Every day at the All Science right. Center. It's one of our most popular things. And as part of the demonstration, we talk about fire safety. Sure. Okay. And a big part of fire safety is having a fire extinguisher in your home and knowing how to use it. Okay. okay. And it, you know, it should be accessible. It shouldn't be buried underneath the sink by all the detergents and everything. So in a fire, you want to be able to grab this and think the word pass, P-A-S-S. -S. What does that stand for? Pass stands for pull the pin. Okay. You're going to pull the pin. You're going to aim. You're going to squeeze and sweep the fire extinguisher. Oh, okay. All right. So go ahead and do that. Now, of pull, course, I pulled the pin for you. Go ahead and fire it off. I want to remind everybody, if you have an adult in the house, make sure that the adults are aware that you're doing the pass yes. demonstration. Do it. Okay. So go ahead. Pull, squeeze, aim, sweep. Perfect. Okay. Goes without saying, it's probably a good thing to try that with your fire extinguisher so you know how to use it in the case of a fire. Sure. Okay, with adults this. around. With adults. <laughs> now, the reason we talk about this stuff, we talk about it in the context of people at home in summertime, maybe mowing their lawn or maybe working with paint thinner in the basement. All those kinds of organic solvents have vapors that are heavier than air. So inside this little container, I've got a little bit of liquid called hexane. It is generating vapors from the heat from my hand, okay? okay? This whole thing is filling with flammable vapors. I want to show you what happens if those heavier than air vapors hit like a pilot light or a spark from a motor or something like that. So here, I can't pour the liquid. I'm only going to pour the vapor into wow. this container. No liquid is going in. Oh, man. And you get that little flash up, right? It's a magic act. It's invisible. Yeah. Well, it's, that's what makes it so dangerous because sure. you don't know where they're at. Yeah. Now, another thing that you might have in your home, you probably do have in your home, is natural gas. So if you're a firefighter coming into a situation, natural gas is actually lighter than air. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make some bubbles filled with methane, okay. which is lighter than air and flammable, and I'm going to have you scoop those bubbles up with your hand. We're going to ignite them in your hand. So methane goes up, hexane goes down? Hexane goes down. Most organic solvents are heavier than air, so they'll hover near the floor finding a pilot light. All right. um, natural gas will hover near the ceiling, which you, know, you probably don't think about that as a, a place where a flammable substance would be. Right. So why don't you go ahead and dip your hand into <laughs> that uh, container of water. We're going to get your hand wet, and that's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to allow you to pick up the bubbles that we're going to form with this soapy water solution. Again, the bubbles are filled with methane. We don't have the odorant in this methane, so there's going to be no bad smell. <laughs> what I want you to do is try to scoop up, in just a second, try to scoop up as many of those bubbles as you can into the palm of your hand. Is this going to clean my wedding ring? Uh, it probably won't clean your wedding ring, but <laughs> here, let me, let me hold that for All right. you. Okay, just one hand, just your left hand there, there which has the water on it. What we're going to do is we're going to light these in three, now, it's flammable. Don't pull your hand back. Okay, I'm going to do a little magic right, thing right, back right, here, yeah. though, right? All right, yep. Three, two, one, methane. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. So, but you saw how those like moved upward, and your hand is fine, right? Show me your hand. It's fine. It's totally yeah. fine. So the water actually provides a protective layer. Let me pass this back to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, the water provides a protective layer. You see firefighters spraying houses that are near a house that's burning. Mm -hmm. They're doing that to provide that protective layer to stop any embers from like, igniting that fire as and well. The molecular level works. Same thing with your hand. All so right. some of the cool stuff we do at the science center. We got some leftover methane. We should hey, just burn it off. Burn here, it right? off. Sounds okay. great. Well, if you're heading down to the Imagination Station and you live in Lucas County, kids 12 and under get in free on Saturdays with a paid adult admission. Thanks again, Carl. Sure. All right. All and right. that's how you imagine it.